Another health care clinic is on the way for the city of Richmond. Last night, city council members unanimously approved a third planned parenthood facility to be built on the north side and the sale of the property for just 10 bucks. Our 8 News reporter Jamal Williams is live in the Digital Center. So Jamal, what has the reaction been like from people? Well, Deanna, it's been mixed views on whether this new facility will be beneficial for everyone in Richmond. I've got no quarrel with Planned Parenthood, but I understand their budget is plus a million dollars annually, and you're going to give away a ten, a, a, for ten dollars? That's just one of many voices from last night's Richmond City Council meeting. The board unanimously approved a third Planned Parenthood facility to be built on the Northside property near Chamberlain Avenue, selling the property for just $10. Officials say the $6 million building will not only provide family planning, but also serve as primary care and cancer screenings for residents. Virginia essentially is the last state in the South that offers this sort of care. And now to have these options and opportunities in the city of Richmond puts us in a class of our own. But not everyone feels it's necessary. You can't give a sweetheart deal to a, a billion dollar corporation just because you like them. You actually have to give it other people uh, in, in the city an opportunity to bid as well. Abortion is not health care. It damages women emotionally, physically, psychologically, and it kills an innocent life. According to the Virginia League for Planned Parenthood, the decision comes at a time where they've not only seen a 30% rise of clients coming out of state since the Dobb decision, but also an 85% increase in clinician-provided abortions since 2020. Communications Director Ray Pickett says the need is urgent. When people access abortion care, sometimes they are traveling long distances and they might bring their children with them. So our health centers are able to identify things nearby like libraries or playgrounds for folks to, to be able to accommodate. Our Family Foundation President Victoria Cobb says, not really. The needs of the city, particularly in this area, are great. Homelessness, addiction, education. There are so many needs and there are so many entities trying to meet those needs that could have done that more effectively in that property location. Now, there's currently no timetable for when this health facility will be built, but VLPP will begin fundraising to eventually demolish the old building and construct this new facility. Live in the Digital Center, Jamal Williams, 8 News.